Okay. So who did Patrick's homework? Do you like homework? Definitely no, no. The answer will be no in most of the cases. At least out of 100, 90 children will say no. Even I will also say no. Okay. Do you do it yourself? Yes. While, when it has been given and uh, there is no option, we have to do. Then at that time I try to do it on my own. Or do you get help? If it is really very hard, if it is not possible for me to complete it on my own, I have to take the help from others. What homework do you usually have that you can say very well, whether you are having from, uh, that means from which subject you are having the homeworks most. Patrick never did homework. Very nice. He does not like to complete or he does not like homeworks. What is homework? Too boring. Really, homework's too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. Just wait, children. Okay, now it's okay. So, um, uh, Nintendo, the meaning of Nintendo is given a video game. So, instead of this homework, what did he like? He liked uh, to play um, uh, hockey, basketball, Nintendo, all this. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. As we say, you know, every time, children do your work, complete your work. What you, are, what you are learning, what you will learn if you don't complete your homework. Every time we scold you like this, no. And it's true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus, meaning of ignoramus is given, an ignorant person who lacks education, does not know anything. If any question is asked, I don't know. If uh, he is asked to solve a sum on the board, it is not possible for him. So that's why sometimes he felt like some that uh, it is written ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. I don't have any option. I don't like homework. Why? Why I will? Why uh, teachers or others they are asking me to complete the homework? Why they are asking me the questions? I don't like. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll. So it was not a doll. And or a doll at all. But a man of the tiniest size. So one day he saw that his cat was playing with a doll. When he snatched it away from the cat, he saw that, oh, it's not a doll at all. It's a very small uh, man or a tiniest man. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch's. So, see here the rhyming words that they are breeches, witches. So, breeches meaning it is given. Short trousers. The writer here spells it for fun to rhyme with the word witches. So the hat was like the um, hat of a witch, which you know, no. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat. I'll grant you a wish, I promise you that. So the tiniest man, he said that kindly, don't just give me back to that cat. And if you do this favor to me, then I will grant you a wish. Oh, Chishman, I can see you. Turn off your front camera immediately. So he said that if you save my life, I will grant you a wish. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Wow, I'm so lucky. Now uh, it's the ta time for me to just uh, get one wish fulfilled. And definitely I will ask, to, uh, ask for something related to studies. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, 
only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days if you do a good enough job i could even get a's so patrick was such cunning in nature he said that oh yes i can save you from this uh, cat but uh, what you have to do which wish of mine you have to fulfill you have to complete my homework till this uh, end of the semester that is 35 days and if you do some hard work he will not do patrick himself will not do if that tiniest man if he does some hard work then patrick will get a's in all the subjects the little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper meaning of this dish, uh, dish cloth is given a cloth used for washing dishes so his face wrinkled like that dish cloth that also which is thrown to the hamper what is the meaning of hamper a basket with a lid he kicked his legs and doubled his fists so such angry he is now he is kicking his legs is doubling his fist and all these things to uh, show his uh this annoyance to show his uh, sh to uh, show that he he was quite angry at that time and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips the meaning is given here his face had these expressions showing disgust anger and disapproval the pursed his lips means like this like something like this oh am i cursed meaning of curse you know opposite of blessings but i'll do it okay it's done i will do your work and true to his word the little elf now this tiniest man he has been addressed as elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the meaning of glitch is given an informal word a fault in a machine that prevents it from working properly here hitch or problem the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way so this uh, tiniest man he was ready to complete patrick's homework but there was a problem that every time he required help from patrick and patrick also tried his level best to help this elf so give a tick mark up to these children because the time is about to end so give a tick mark and in our next class we will proceed with the next part of the chapter and whatever we have studied today if you are having any doubt query anything you can ask me right now feel free to ask sir pigeon sound is coming debraj please mute uh, children see one thing uh, this is not possible in this way if uh, others are going to disturb the class then the whole class will get hampered it it will it will not be possible for me to take the class properly even from your end you will not be able to concentrate properly i have not asked you to say me bye right now or chishman i didn't ask you to say uh, or wish me or uh, bid me bye i've just asked you whether if you are having any doubt or query if you are having any you can ask me right now even i have not uh, asked for any attendance right now no sir no doubt doubt spelling ayush kindly check it who is this one arnav present sir bye sir no sir no doubt what is this arnav just answer what i have asked Okay children when if you are not having any doubt then it's quite very nice that you have understood we will meet again in our next class but don't go right now just wait